Greetings, loved ones. Let's take a chance. It's time for Amanda, <laughs> Amanda Exclusivo. Hi, everyone. I know it's been a while, but I'm back. Welcome to the Amanda Exclusivo. You guys, I have so much love for my guest on today. I'm sending you a heart emoji, a smiley face emoji. Hit the send button. It's Chris Sapphire. Hey, Chris. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. Thanks for having me back, honey. I feel larger than life. Did you like all those emojis, by the way? Am I leaving one out that's your favorite? Uh, what is it called? The eggplant? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I, had to. I had to. It was too easy. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't seen you in a couple of months. How are you doing? What's new with you? Well, I'm doing great. Thankfully to God. I'm so excited to be double vaccinated. Last year, I, st- I had COVID. This year, I'm feeling great. The world is moving along. Things are picking up. Season two over the world. It has just been another world, a whirlwind of just what is going on. The circle is the gift that keeps on giving and giving and giving. And I'm so thankful to be a part of that. So it had to be weird for you this season because you're on the opposite side. You were not a contender. You were a viewer like me. So how did that feel? That must have been so weird. Well, it felt very surreal and it actually felt cool it was so cool somebody watching what people fell in love with and and to relive my experience through them and to wonder who the hell is in my apartment (laughs) did you figure that out (laughs) some journalists did there was a journalist who was comparing floors I guess they don't change the flooring they just change everything else and I believe it is Jack Jack who was in my apartment (laughs) <laughs> oh my god and are you friends with jack now i'm friends with all of them by the grace of god i'm so thankful uh, for connecting with them amanda because they know who we are and now we know who they are because we're watching them <laughs> the way they watched us it's like flip-flop it was so cool so tell me as a viewer what was like a cringy moment for you watching the show back because there had to be a lot i'm sure Oh gosh, I don't know if I cringed much, but I was uh, on the edge of my seat a lot because this season had so much meow. <laughs> <laughs> it had a lot of cattiness. It was, it was cutthroat. These kids, like I say in a lot of my other interviews, I'm like, we landed on Mars and these kids were born on Mars. They already oh. knew. See, we were, we were explorers, exploring a new thing. We had no idea what we were doing. These kids came in, they're flying, honey. They were ready to rank, make alliances, boot bitches out. I mean, <laughs> it was so cool to watch. And what did you think of the whole Lance Bass situation? I have to ask you about that. If you were well, a contestant, would you think that was real? Well, here's the gag. I'm a massive, massive 90s fan. Uh, NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, Christina, Britney, Pink, all of that stuff, 90s, early 2000s. I know big time, okay? So I would have been the queen of clock on this season because I would have asked so many questions that if Lance Bass did not get these questions right, I would have been like, red flag, this is a catfish, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And seeing Lisa... I love her. She's a good Judy of mine. Bless her heart. There were some times that she answered back to the contestants and some of those answers were so off that I was like, I would have clocked that from the jump. I would have clocked that from the jump that that was not Lance Bass. It's so funny. And then some contestants thought that he was real, which I was cracking up at that. I know. And at least Kat thought that that wasn't a catfish. I'm like, that's right. Well, you know, what really cracked my face is that some of the contestants didn't even know who NSYNC was. And I thought, Jesus Christ, <laughs> am I really that old now? <laughs> How did this it's only the second season, Chris. Don't worry. <laughs> they have oh, more seasons to come. <laughs> I'm blown. It's like NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, the Spice Girls. These were like so big that how could you just not know who these folks are, you know? For me, when I was growing up in the 90s, I knew who Prince and Michael Jackson right. and Tina Turner, Madonna were. And you would think a generation uh, uh, that's ahead of mine because they're newer yeah. would know who the generation before, who these folks were. Um, thank God people know who Britney Spears is and Christina Aguilera. <laughs> Otherwise, well, I'd be like, that's this? given. You know? <laughs> Those records are the best. You can never forget. 
Thank you. I mean, it's so iconic. How could you just not? <laughs> I wanted to ask you too, is there a particular contestant that you were rooting for on the show? Oh gosh, well, I'm a little biased because Three contestants were from Dallas this season. So of course I was really rooting for all my Dallas folks. But one of the contestants that I just absolutely fell in love with uh, was Chloe on season two. Chloe was there to have a great time. She is good energy. She was so silly and always spot on. I said, Chloe, now that girl, she she's going somewhere, honey. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember before she like met everyone, she's like, oh, I have to wax me face or something. I don't know if you heard that. I just was cracking up when she said that. She's like, I have to wax me face, shower. <laughs> She was just always in her own little La La Land. And I was like, I she needs a show. Oh my God, she's so funny. And I have, and I want to know, what do you think of River? River, the real River or Lee, the guy playing River? I want to hear about the catfish River first. Would you have fallen for that? He played an, okay, the catfishes this season were here for blood. They right. played, I'm going to get to the winner in a little bit, but yeah. for now. River, I think did an amazing job. He was, I mean, just the heart, how he, I mean, the show had just started. He's already crying. <laughs> I was like, wait, I mean, it took a few episodes before we started crying, but he was already crying. And <laughs> he's just a really nice guy. I, his real name is Lee. I know. I met him here in Dallas, we had lunch together. We oh, did a, our nice. first, oh, it was incredible. We got to do our very first meet and greet. Uh, with fans and the turnout was insane and I'm just oh that's amazing I know him he's a sweetheart and I don't want to spoil it there so I could see you oh gosh it was so cool Amanda because my season COVID came and shut the whole world down I and then know. season two came right as we're getting out of COVID and so um, it was cool to see what would happen if we did a little meet and greet here in Dallas and it was Pride Dallas at that time and I mean, we had a line that kept going and going for two hours and they had to stop the line. Otherwise it would have just kept going all night. And I thought, wow, to see, to see with my own eyes, just how big the show is, it's, it's insane. I know, and it continues to grow in popularity. It's, it's great. Yeah. There are new fans that are coming and these contestants are getting crazier and crazier every season. And then for the first time, it's only the second season, but a catfish one. What was your reaction? I thought she was so deserving of this win. Oh, yeah. Miss, Miss uh, Lisa Unique, Delisa Unique. Honey, she played Is that Trevor. Her nickname, Delisa Unique. Well, that's her name on Instagram, uh, Delisa <laughs> Unique. She's got many names. <laughs> I was going to say, Is that one of the many? <laughs> She's got many names. She's got many names, but I, I call her Miss Unique, Queen Unique. Um, <laughs> She was so good. She had that notebook with all her notes. She was ready in case anybody tried to clock her or corner her. And that moment when she had to name the three athletes, athletes in that photo. I remember this, that. This close, this close of being <laughs> clock honey. And she flew, she flew when she said, Dennis Rodman, Scottie Pippen, Michael Jordan. I was like, oh, oh my she God, it was so good. And, no, she totally deserved to win. And the reason behind her wanting to win was very touching. You know, she has a family oh. wanting to get the house. I'm like, girl, yes. I yes. know. And she and she announced that she was pregnant after. And she announced she was pregnant. Baby. It's like, you know, everything happens the way it should. I told Lee, I said, Lee, you want a swimming pool? You're going to end up getting your swimming pool. <laughs> Tell Alicia you want to be a singer, you have a great voice, I have no doubt, go out there and sing. And I'm so happy, I saw Tara Alicia the other day on the set of a TV show, I guess she's a, gonna hopefully be a part of. And I'm like, I just love Amazing. how it's opening so many doors for everybody and whatever they wanna do in this world. Are we gonna see you on our TV screens anytime soon? What have you been up to, my friend? <laughs> you know, that, that is the, the gag, my whole life, like I always tell everybody to ask me that, they're like, we wanna see more of you. I'm like, well, it, my life first and foremost is in God's hands and, and I have faith that he has something just right coming for me. <laughs> but I'm happy to announce that today in, in a little while, I'm gonna post a photo of me 
My certification just came in. I'm finally an ordained minister. After the circle, so many people were asking me if I could come and marry them. And never did I think that is something that I was going to do in this lifetime. And the other day I had a meeting with this couple that really wants me to marry them. And I got certified. And now I guess I'm going to add it to my resume. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was in the books for you. I had I, no idea. I had no That's idea. Exciting. That's exciting. To marry folks. I mean, I've had people write me lesbian couples, gay couples. They're like, we want to know, would you marry us? But in those days when I was getting those messages, I didn't have the, the ability to do this. And well, you know, timing is everything. Plus COVID was going on. How am I going to marry anybody with COVID? So this is, I mean, God has a sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, do you have a dream couple that you would like to marry? I mean, that's kind of a cool opportunity. If you if you had to pick a couple and like a dream, dream couple. random couple, yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I would love to marry Jay Manuel myself. <laughs> I would like for me to marry Jay Manuel, but <laughs> if I was gonna marry anybody, I would love to meet somebody I've always admired, like a like Christina Aguilera. I've always admired Ooh, her. I love but, her. Yeah, or like Pink, but I think Pink and Christina are already married to somebody. Yeah, they're both married. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe somebody down the road from the circle, like who knows if God has it up his sleeve, I end up marrying Joey to the dream girl of his life or something like that. I know, I thought he was going to date Miranda, but. <laughs> we all did, but you I know. know. Speaking of those two, I recently got back from Los Angeles when the season two wrapped up yeah. and we're invited to finally all get together for a big like uh, finale party since we didn't get to do that during my season. And I, I spent my whole week with Joey at his apartment. We got to just bond. I fell in love with him <laughs> and Miranda lived like literally next door in that time period. So she would come into the apartment Tara Alicia spent the night over with us. So really, so we were fun. Fun. and we were all in this apartment <laughs> together. That's great that all of you are friends, you know, even from your season and now season two, like I see you hang out with Courtney, Tara Alicia, the, yeah. like, the list goes on. It, it just seems like a really great cast and all of you just vibe really well. I'm, I'm thankful we do. I'm thankful that when I got to meet Courtney and Savannah and Mitch, Savannah, and, that's another interesting one too. <laughs> yes. I mean, these kids really came for it this season and uh, I'm just glad we all get along. It's fun. It's all fun. Would you ever consider at some point going back to the circle and being a catfish at all? You know, I've, I've gotten that question I, a lot. I know you have, but I'm just wondering. I, I hands down would go back. Yeah. Hands down, I would so go back because one, I'm ready to win. <laughs> I'm coming for my crown, boo. And it would just be so much fun. If not only do I come back as a catfish, but if I come back and I'm teamed up with somebody too, that would be a cool spin as see, well. See, that's what happened on your season. That would have been fun, right? It was because seeing on season two, Jack and Lisa teaming up, I thought, how fun is it to see these two people pretending to be one person? It just creates more and so more. different. So fun. It was just so much fun. But hands down, I would love to go back to the circle and get my crown, honey. <laughs> I am on your team and you know that. And you know I love you and you can come back anytime. And I would love to know your ideas for being a catfish at some point down the road. <laughs> well, I tell folks if I was going to be a catfish, I definitely would want to play something that is polar opposite of me, like maybe a hooker or <laughs> like something like really polar opposite of me oh uh, you can play as me <laughs> amanda geffner yes go in there no fun. i i you know honestly i would have so much fun playing a catfish because i just go go as i go <laughs> it seems great to like invent a new person or find a picture of some random people i mean yeah. i feel like if i was a contestant on the show i would play as myself yeah, but exactly what you did. But being a catfish does sound pretty fun. <laughs> it actually does look like fun, too. It looks a lot of fun. Um, oh, yeah. So who knows? A lot of the fans of the circle have been already chiming about they want to see 
like an all-star spinoff where they want to see Ooh. stuff in the future. So hopefully Netflix is cooking up something. You just never know. <laughs> Hopefully. But is there anything else in the works for you besides being a minister? <laughs> well, right now, I'm just thankful that because COVID is lifting up, things are, are going well with me and my agency. I'm still out here collabing with all these amazing companies that reach out. And as for the future, we don't know. I'll just tell you that I've been doing a lot of interviews with production folks that are interested in, in doing things and uh, networks and stuff. So, you know, I'm always working, honey. <laughs> I forget. You know, we could always do our radio show together, like we said last time. You know, and I, know. Did, radio. I did radio for such a long time. So I know, right up, I remember. It's so right up my alley. And I honestly, I'm enjoying life right now. I'm in a very happy place. And and I'm just excited to see what the next thing is. I, I remember a few, uh, about a month and a half ago, we were nominated for an MTV award. That's and cool. to see Sammy and them there representing all of us at the MTV awards and see us on, on the MTV awards big screen. I'm just like, look at God, here we are. Amazing. And where we're going and all that, but it's exciting because that's the, the gift. That's why they call it the present because it's constantly a gift as we're going. Well, it was so great to chat with you, Chris. You know, you can always come back anytime. You are a friend and friends can always come back anytime. Thank you so much. I'm so excited for you and your future. 